Hey everyone, and thank you for joining me for this painting time lapse. I'm going to be working with oil on canvas paper. So for the start of this painting, I made a grid and then I used a diluted layer of burnt sienna to create an underpainting of the very basic shapes and values in this painting. And because of the angle of the hand, the mirror, and the face, it's not your typical portrait angle. It's a bit cropped and weird. And I do like to work with portraits and paintings like this that aren't your typical standard angle. So having the grid there really helps you to put things in a perspective more accurately and when it came to the first color layer I used a mixture of Gamzol and Galkid in a 50-50 ratio to help increase the viscosity of the paint and to speed up the drying time so that way it will dry much faster and I can come back to this painting and work on it sooner and if you need help with layering or if you don't understand like the fat over lean rule I have a video about how to layer an oil painting where I demonstrate that with just one medium but there's so many ways to do it and so many ways to to approach it so I'm gonna leave that in the description so you guys can check it out if you need some help with that um, I do work in several layers on my pieces normally I wait for them to dry and I have multiple unfinished paintings going at once uh, that way I can just switch from piece to piece uh, while a few of them might need some more time to dry I can work on others um, that way I can constantly paint and work on different pieces and for me I like to work this way like on several paintings at at the same time that is because it helps me to keep my attention span going and <laughs> keep it in check I guess I have trouble concentrating and focusing as it is and painting is just one of those things that I struggle focusing on less much less than everything else because it's something that I deeply enjoy so it actually goes the opposite way where I can actually like hyper focus on it However, after working on one painting for a really long time or like several hours without a break, I do start to get tired of it and my focus tends to wander and then I get frustrated with the painting and I just can't work on it anymore. So in order to keep the productivity going, I'll usually just switch my focus to a different painting and that way I can still paint, I'm still doing something I really like and I'm not frustrated and then by the time I come back to the other painting, suddenly I have this new understanding and I can solve whatever problems I was struggling with back then much easier um, so this painting is actually a bit similar to an older painting that I created back in 2013 it was my painting called farewell old self and it was when I first started experimenting with painting water and water droplets and that painting was created with a different technique and way of working I think I even finished it in like one or two sittings it was much faster than this painting I used to paint a lot faster back then and I think my methods have um, they've definitely changed a lot since then the more years I spent painting the more time I end up spending on each painting like it's interesting to see that evolve and then look back on older pieces and how I created them but the painting I'm making now that reference was actually taken the same time as my old painting so um, I planned to paint it back then but I never really got around to it and then I randomly found it recently in my computer and I saw the reference and I just decided that I want to paint it again so here we are um, I don't know why I decided not to paint this one I think it had something to do with like it, it being a little bit more complex whereas that one it didn't have like two faces because this one has the face in the actual painting and then the reflection uh, and then the hand and the hair like I don't know I think I might have just been a little bit intimidated by it back then and so I went for the what seemed like the easier option back then although it really wasn't so I don't know I'm just kind of assuming here I, I don't specifically remember why I chose not to paint it but it happens a lot that way like I'll find older references from years back that I didn't want to paint back then but then looking on them now I suddenly decide that I want to and a lot of times it's because it was intimidating back then like I think that there's something too complex for me and then as my uh, <laughs> my techniques develop and evolve and I grow as an artist suddenly they seem less intimidating later on so it's good to have like a, a pool of references to choose from that way also if you would like a real-time demo of this painting where you can see exactly what colors I use how my palette evolved and sort of my reasoning and methods behind the brush strokes and just basically explain this painting more that is available on my patreon page along with countless other demos where I explained my process. So after the first color layer dried and it was time to build up 
on the colors and details, which I've already done back in the time lapse, which you can't really see. I then brought in Gal Kid Gel as a medium. This is a really awesome medium to work with. You don't have to mix solvents into it. You don't need a separate dish. You just kind of plop it onto your palette and gradually dip your brush into it as you work. Um, it's also really good for glazing, which is when you work in very transparent layers to build on certain colors. And because it's much thicker than normal Gal Kid, you don't have to worry so much about adding too much because if you add a normal medium like too excessively, it actually makes the paint much harder to work with, borderline unmanageable. But in this case, not so much. It's much easier to work with. So yeah, that is my painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favorite mediums in the description and where you find your painting inspiration. I'll see you in my next video and I'm wishing you a beautiful and inspiring day.